Haikyuu, Season 2, Episode 4. <laughs> I was about to say, I remember my first telephone pole. We made it to the big leagues, big city. That's how it is, though. I totally get that. Just the excitement of being in a new place. You start thinking everything is significant, and then later it's just a mundane detail. When I first got to Korea on the trip from the airport to where I was staying, I was taking pictures of, like, the highway. <laughs> I know I'm not alone in that either. Even though highways everywhere look just about the same. It's just, it means something to you. You're in Japan or wherever. Tokyo, in this case. No! No, 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 no! no! 40 is passing, right? Good job on your 42. Pass is a pass. English? Come on, Hinata. Oh no, it's not even his. Well, damn, they could just give him the benefit of the doubt and move all the answers one up. It's kind of brutal. Damn, so we're doing this without Hinata and Kageyama? Does that leave them open for a chance to hang out with, uh, damn, what's his name? 25-year-old ringer volleyball player. <laughs> yeah, you thought one was good. Now we got two. We are the superior team. Yeah, lord it over them. Tanaka has won. Victory has already been ascertained from the beginning. We lost the first matchup, right? Carson lost against them. I don't know. I can just feel it in my bones. Certain victory. Annihilation and defeat. And it all starts with the fact that we have two whole women <laughs> on our team. How many women do you have, cat team? But does this mean a dual story? A dual arc? Hinata and Kageyama alone in Miyagi? You know, that could be okay. That could be fun. One of the most intriguing things about this season so far has been that meeting, that quote-unquote chance meeting following Hinata's radar, meeting the legendary champion player and him taking an interest in them immediately. That can't have been for nothing. Like, my reading of that episode was that he feels more like a mentor than an opponent, although he'll certainly be an opponent at some point. Oh, episode 4, Center Ace. Oh, can they make it up? Okay, right. There's still hope. Failure voice. Oh, look who it is. That's what we meant by savior. What's her angle? What's she doing this for? She's just another kind-hearted person we're meeting along the way in our volleyball adventures. She is sort of Haruka-esque. What is this, like a safety warning? Don't try this at home, kids. Don't tell me what to do. Public service announcement. I'll drive with badass women if I want to. <laughs> Love this guy. Love this coach. Plus, we got a new kid. He's very tall. What he lacks in skill, he makes up for in height and cheerfulness. Oh, it seems like he was looking forward to it. Oh, there's a bunch of teams. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. Nice, nice. Exhibition arc. It's tough to practice. This is rough. No, that's uh, that's uh, our boy, Haibalev. They're really, uh, flowers, huh? They're really playing up the something with her. Sexiness, sexualization, sexuality with Tanaka's sister. Eyes on the road, yeah, there you go. I didn't realize there was a crow perching, watching him. Damn. Hinata said that so positively. Oh, that's what you meant by intensity. He looks like Hinata. Hinata. <laughs> 
エースにおんぶに抱っこ状態になってたまるかって奮い立つエースであることも絶対的プライドとビッグシューストフェルクソあの、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、
This is kind of undoing some of the things we've done before. This is playing to the way Hinata used to want to think. I don't know, is this a good direction? I guess it depends on how he uses it. We were in a good place with the whole like team building thing and you know everyone plays a role. Being a decoy is useful. Coach is just loving life. Did he really just refer to it as their weird quick attack? Damn, yeah. That's some height right there. When I first saw that OVA, I, I thought that these two, Kenma and Lev, were kind of a parallel for Hinata and Kagama. Here they are face to face. Yes. It could be good if Hinata uses it as inspiration just to do better. As long as it doesn't like destabilize his team play. Huh, that's interesting. That's an interesting question for him to ask because that seems to be partly what Hinata's considering. They've come so far in one season, and a lot of that is their their teamwork. Their regard for each other, them each doing their best in their respective roles. For example, Hinata being okay being a decoy and using that effectively. It seems like this is sort of a revisiting of some of the early ideas for Hinata, where he wanted to be number one and wanted to be the best. How does he advance and take charge and take power without destabilizing the whole thing, without being selfish? And yeah, they're all obviously getting better just from practice and, and experience playing, but how do they push it to the next level? I'm not sure. That's kind of a tougher question to answer. I'm talking out of school here, but my my innate sense about sports is that as you progress up a skill ladder, the next jump up gets closer and closer to where you are, but gets harder and harder to accomplish. Not just in sports, but in other things. Like with language, for example, the beginning stage is pretty quick, pretty easy. Then the intermediate stage is harder. And then from the intermediate stage to the advanced stage, you're you're pretty close, you know, you're very close, but it's the longest path at, at the same time. Maybe that's not the best way of articulating that or the best way of conceptualizing it, but the higher plateaus feel like they're staring you in the face, but the work there is so specific because there's no longer as much low hanging fruit. It's just real effort, extreme dedication, focus, and requires insight even. I imagine the same is true for reaching a transcendent level of sport where they're already great, right? They're not that far off from the teams that are higher than them in a sense, but also in a sense they're impossibly far and there's no guarantee anymore that they can improve it's sort of like unclear what you focus on how do you achieve that level of mastery when you're already kind of good that's when it takes sort of an insane level of something and it's it's not guaranteed so what is it going to be for this team i i don't know i wonder maybe not have taken a bigger lead and rising to try to become the ace there also in this episode was the talk about the little giant and his intensity and he not seeming to take some inspiration from that so we'll see